In this blog, we're going to be looking at a second new machining strategy, which has been added to the machining extension for Fusion 360. This particular strategy is called Rotary Contour and is a four axis finishing strategy. This can be used with a machining center with a fourth axis, but it can also be used with a mill turn lathe. So this tool is available within the milling tools. Okay, and we pick our tool. We'll pick our rotary axis setup. Okay, now what we can do here is well as do some additional work so we can stop the toolpath going further when it needs to go, which is what I'm doing here. It's changing the selection for the OD as well. And if I click OK, this will go away now and calculate us a, a rotary toolpath for finishing off the walls on this particular component. With this tool, we get a better result than if we were to go and use a, a 2D toolpath that was wrapped around the particular feature. We get a better result, which we'll see shortly. As we can see, it's created us our toolpaths. And again, if we go and simulate, David, it will go in and it will go and machine those walls out for us. And we can see that we've finished machine them. But we get quite a nice result with that. On this next example, we're using the rotary contour strategy a Milton lathe. So what we're going to do here is finish off the wall detail on the the worm detail on this particular part. So in a few moments you'll see the tool path appear and you'll see that it will concentrate on the area around the wall detail and once that's been done what we can then go and do is then go and do a simulation just to make sure that we're getting the desired result that we're looking for so we're going to run the simulation now as you can see it's going to go around and you'll start to see the detail around the sides of the wall of that cutout finish i hope you found this blog useful mm -hmm.